Another question right here. Four. Question number four. The question is one, two, six, twenty-four, one twenty. Oh, what's the next number in the series? See that? One, two, six, twenty-four, one twenty. When you look at differences, plus one, the differences, plus four, this difference is, what is that? Plus 16, is it? Or plus 18? Plus 18, yes. And uh, what is this difference? Plus 96. However, does it make any sense? Do we have any other method or any other pattern right here rather than finding the differences? Think about this way. What come to my mind is 2 into 3 is 6. 6 into 4 is 24. So 1 into 2 is 2. 1 into 2, 2. 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 4, 24. 24 into 5, 120. So naturally, into 2, into 3, into 4, into 5. Next one must be into 6. So 120 into 6. 200 into 6, 72. So the answer must be 720. How about the next one right here? Next question, 1, 2, 6, 21, 88. So what is it? What kind of series? Or what kind of pattern? So the first thing, normally what comes to our mind is 1 into 2 is 2. Good. 2 into 3 is what? 6. Perfectly all right. But next one, 6 into 4 is 24. But what we have given is 21. Either question is wrong or our method is wrong. Rather than kind of like, you know what, anticipating the question is wrong, probably we look at our method or our pattern. That could be something wrong with it. So rather than doing this way, we'll just mark it out. Uh, we have to look at some other patterns right here. What come to my top of my hand head is like 21 into 4 is 84. Well, 6 into 3 is 18, but that's not 21, but 18. 2 into 2 is 4. So 4, 3, 2, naturally this one must be into 1. However, 1 into 1 is 1, it is not 2. So 1 into 1 plus 1 is 2. Now 2 into 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 into 3 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21. So look at the pattern, into 1 plus 1, into 2 plus 2, into 3 plus 3, into 4 plus 4. And the answer must be 88 into 5 plus 5. So how do we multiply? Without paper, without pencil, just your brain. So 88 into 5. So what we do is 80 into 5. 8 into 5, 40. 80 into 5, 400. 80 into 5, the balance is 8. 8 into 5, 40. 440. Uh, repeat it. 88, you think about 80 plus 8. 80 into 5, 400. The balance is 8. 8 into 5, 40. So 440 plus you have this 5. So the answer is 445. See that? So just take a look at the patterns we have gone through so far. The first one is the natural differences. The differences are natural numbers. The second one, the differences are prime numbers. And the third one, third question, see that? The pattern is either the differences, these are odd numbers, or it's a square plus one pattern. Sometimes you may get pattern square plus two. In this case, it's square plus one. Sometimes you may get square plus two, square plus three, square plus four. Sometimes square minus one, square minus two, square minus three. And this one, question number four. What's the pattern is? Multiplication. Multiplication with the natural numbers into two, into three, into four, into five, into six. In this case, it is not just multiplication, it's multiplication and addition. Into 1 plus 1, into 2 plus 2, into 3 
plus 3, etc. So let's take a look at another question. How about the question 6, 24, 60, 120, and what is next? 6, 24, 60, 120, and what is next? Naturally, when we see this 24, well, you see this, 25 is 5 squared. So what comes to our mind is? 5 square minus 1. In that case, 6 is what? Nearest square is 2 square. 2 square plus 2 or it could be 3 square minus 3. And 60 is what? 8 square minus 4. And 120? 11 square minus 1. However, does it give you, give us any kind of pattern? Pattern means this is the pattern, 3 square plus 1, 4 square plus 1, 5 square plus 1, or it could be 3 square plus 1, 4 square plus 2, 5 square plus 3, 6 square plus 4, etc. In this case, it is 2 square plus 2, 5 square minus 1, 8 square minus 4, 11 square minus 1. Do we have a pattern? No, I don't see any pattern right here. So squares doesn't work. How about differences? Check out the differences. First difference is 18. Next difference is 36. Our next difference is 60. You, if you go for the next level of differences, that means if you find the differences of differences, probably you may get a pattern. But that's, that's time consuming. It's a bit sticky. Stay away from those kind of uh, methods. Rather than that, instead of squares, let's look at cubes. Because you know what? When I look at these numbers, what I see is 3 cube. 3 cube is 27. So this is 24. 3 cube minus 3. And this one is 4 cubed. 4 cubed is 64. 4 cubed minus 4 is 60. And this one, 4, 3, this one naturally, 2 cubed. 2 cubed minus 2. 2 cubed is 8, minus 2 is 6. All right, so what is it? Next one must be naturally 5 cubed minus 5. So 5 cubed is 125 minus 5, 120. So the square pattern doesn't work for this question. However, the cube pattern works. So what is the next number? It must be 6 cube minus 6. However, what is 6 cube? 6 cube, how do we find out? What is the best method to find out 6 cube? Well, either you can learn it by heart. There's no harm in learning by heart. However, it's a better method. Look at the 6 cube. 6 cube is 6 into 6 into 6. 6 into 6 is 36. These are all mental calculation, but for the time being, for the demonstration purpose, I'm just writing it over here. So 6 into 6 is 36, 36 into 6. 30 into 6, 180. 6 into 6, 36. 180 plus 36. 180 plus 20, 200. From 36, we have taken 20. The balance is 16. So the answer is 216. What is it? 6 cubed. 6 cubed is 216. So the answer must be 6 cubed minus 6. So that is 216 minus 6. That is 210. How about we look at this method? Finding the cubes of numbers. Sometimes you may have numbers. You know what? It's more than 6. You may need to find the cubes of numbers 9 or 11 or uh, like 12 or uh, 15. Those kind of numbers. So let's take another example right here. 9 cube. 9 cube is what? 9 square into 9. 9 square is 81. 81 into 9. So 80 into 9, so 81 will take it, take it as 80 plus 1. So 80 into 9, 720. 1, the balance is 1. 1 into 9, 9. So the answer is what? 9 cubed is 729. How about we try 12 cube? I'm just taking some random numbers. But what I want you to do, Find out the cubes of numbers. We have already 6 cube here. 7 cube onwards. 7 cube, 8 cube, 9 cube is already here. 10 cube, you know that that's simple. Actually, 10 cube is pretty simple, 1,000. 11 cube, 12 cube, 13 cube, 14 cube, up to 15 cube. That would be a brain work for you today. So this is... I'll take one more example, tall cube. 
So tall cube is what? Tall square. Tall square 144 into 12. So 144 into 12. So what I do is 144 into 10 first. So that is easy. 1440 plus what the balance is? 144 into 2. Already we have taken that 10 from 12. So 144 into 10, 1440, the balance is 2. So 144 into 2, 288. So we need to add these two numbers. But instead of adding 288, I'll go for the nearest round figure. Instead of 290, I'll go for 300. That's my preference. So 1440 plus 300. Save it to your memory, 1740. So 1440 plus 300, 1740. However, instead of 288, we have added 300. So that difference is 12. So we need to subtract that 12. So 1740 minus 12. So 1740, I'll do that in two steps. 1740 minus 10 first, 1730. Then 1730 minus 2, 1728. That would be the cube of number 12. Tall cube is 1728. So I just want you to look at these numbers and do the same method. No paper, no pencil. It's just brain work. So keep it up and do your best until we meet next time. Thank you.